Hi guys, welcome to another FAQ Friday segment, I guess you could call it. I don't know exactly what to call these things. So this week I have had um, every day, pretty much, I get multiple questions on a daily basis, like literally so many questions. So I have, I literally have like a question for the next like 20 Fridays, like with at, at the top of my head. So I saw somebody ask this question and I thought it was a really good question and it was something that I have been thinking about for a long time and I would like to address in a video. This is going to be my relationship with YouTube. Everybody's seen my videos on my relationship with my exes and my co-parenting views and stuff like that. So this is going to be one strictly about YouTube and how long I plan on being a part of YouTube and my history with YouTube if you haven't been following me for a long time. So basically, I started vlogging in 2009. I actually had a YouTube before the YouTube that I have now and it's like a different channel. It was one that I just uploaded random stuff on um, and I think it's still up. I never go on it anymore, but I do watch videos on there occasionally. Um, I have always had like a passion for video editing and well, not necessarily video editing, but like videotaping. My mom growing up constantly videotaped my entire life. Like if she had a YouTube channel back then, my whole life would literally be like documented. She literally has like videos after videos after videos. Same with pictures too. Like every freaking day of my life, I swear, <laughs> there's either like a picture taken of me or a video taken of me. So that was just the environment that I grew up in. Then you come to the 21st century where you have social media and you ha you're able to share these life experiences on a daily basis with thousands of other people. Hold on, let me get landed. Okay, sorry, he wanted to come join me. You say hi. So yes, then you get to the 21st century where you are able to share Oh, you're going to talk to you. You are able to share your daily life with thousands and thousands of strangers if they would like to be a part of it. I have had my own video camera for a long time, way, way before I started YouTube. Like I said, my mom documented everything growing up and I enjoyed that. I liked watching home videos and I liked making my own home videos. Regardless of if YouTube ever even existed, I would have documented my whole life regardless. Probably not like sit down vlogs, but like the home video type thing. You know, you videotape things that happen in your life because that's just, I love doing it and I will never stop doing that. So YouTube came along and it's this huge success now where you're able to post these home videos and do whatever you want and even make a living from it. So back in 2009, I joined this YouTube community and I would upload random videos of who knows what. So back in 2009 is when I actually started this channel. I started it before I was pregnant with Lilia and I had been with Gabe for at the time it was probably three years and I mean we were gonna be together forever and we were so madly in love and blah yada yada yada. So I made a channel called Gabe and Jess. Before if you actually go to my first first very first videos it has nothing to do with kids and babies. It has to do with my life with Gabe and like I said I had documented this life with him. Like I literally have thousands and thousands of pictures of me and him together and video of me and him together since we were in eighth grade. Like I literally have so much of it. So I just started a channel focusing on my relationship with him because I thought that that was awesome. I posted a few videos, I believe. I haven't looked in the longest time, but I have a few videos on there of before babies. That is when I started this whole crazy YouTube thing. And when I found out I was pregnant at 18, I obviously have, I already knew what YouTube was. I already have seen other people's YouTube videos and I thought it would just be the coolest idea in the entire world if I like documented everything. Just because I like videotaping my life. At this time I like sharing it with other people as well and getting to connect with people um, from all over the world. So that's when I started actually YouTube vlogging. In the beginning, I loved it. I felt like I could connect to people. There was very little negativity. And as time went on, my life obviously got very controversial in several ways. If you're watching, you probably already know the story. There was lots of drama that happened and I feel like my YouTube channel really grew when all of the drama started happening. And I mean, it's true, people like watching drama. They, that's why TV shows exist. That's why there's always some kind of conflict. They like conflict. They like drama. They like that kind of, they, they like watching that kind of stuff. Like, I feel like when I was pregnant with the twins is really when my channel grew tremendously. And it was because of that. And there was both negative and positive from this happening. I always say now to this day, I have a love-hate relationship with YouTube. Um, I love 
the innocence of it. I love the people who come on and they just enjoy you sharing their life with theirs. And I love being able to connect and learn and educate and be educated from others in the YouTube mom community. I think that that's an awesome thing. But with that, there is a ton of hate. I feel like any successful human being has hate. Everybody in their life has hate and the more successful you are in life, the more hate you have as well. Especially when it comes to something like sharing your very personal life with thousands of people. There was a point where I considered deleting my YouTube because there was so much hate. Then I realized that if you put it into perspective, the amount of people that were hating on me was minuscule to the amount of people that loved me and had all this positivity. It's easier for people to pinpoint the negativity when there's less of it, I think, than the positivity. There, there could be 300 comments on a video and there's three hate comments and that would really tear me down for the longest time. The thing that really prevented me from just like quitting it all together, not quitting documenting my life because I would always do that forever, but just quitting sharing it with everybody was the fact that I realized that it doesn't matter what a stranger's opinion is of you. The only opinion that matters on my life is my own and my personal friends, my personal family and my children. And once I realized that I am so happy with my life and my children are so happy and everybody in my life is happy, that's all that matters. Well, I think you guys have heard me say this 10,000 times, how I deal with the negativity, I ignore, block, delete. But really, that's like, that's all you can really do about it. If you wanna be successful in the YouTube community, you have to ignore the hate. It's gone to a point where if I see, I could just like tell from the first few words if someone is posting a negative comment and I won't even read it. I'll just delete it, block them, done. So once I was able to take a step back and realize all that stuff, I really started enjoying YouTube again. At this point, I have no idea what the future holds with my relationship with YouTube <laughs> and I honestly don't see myself stopping ever at this point. There would have to be really good reason for me to ever stop sharing my life if it maybe interfered with a job or something. Um, I, I really, I don't even know. I don't, I honestly don't know. But I mean, at this point I am five years in, hey, almost mommy, six years mommy, in. Mommy. What? I am almost six years in with YouTube. Yay. That's insane to me. And it's crazy for me because I'll forget things. Like I'll forget that I posted this video about this subject or I'll forget that Lilia used to, she used to say little, 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 little constantly. Like my life is so hectic as it is. It's so refreshing for me to go back and watch my own videos. And it's funny because now Lilia watches my videos on a daily basis. She loves watching herself as a baby. She loves watching herself when she became a big sister for the first time. Once I saw her love these videos, I fell in love with what I'm doing even more. How I document my trips to the zoo and I document my trips to the aquarium and my kids growth and development and everything like that. I realized that what I'm doing is so cherished to myself and my kids and my life. And that's all that really mattered to me. So at this point, I still sort of have a love-hate relationship with YouTube, but for the most part, I don't see myself stopping at all anytime soon. I love documenting my life, and I love that other people are interested in what my kids are doing and what I'm doing on a daily basis. I think that that's so awesome, and I think that the fact that we're able to even do this is like insane. So anyway, I'm kind of going just rambling now. This video is kind of all over the place. I think I kind of hit all the points that I wanted to hit. So <laughs> anyway, that is it for this week's FAQ Fridays and I will talk to you guys for my next video. Bye.